Alex Shuke here at All Seasons RV in Streetsboro, Ohio. Today I will be explaining the 2021 Shamrock 233S. This is a hybrid model, so this is going to be a mix between a pop-up and a hard body, but it's not going to take as long as a regular pop-up would. Even to set all these beds up, it will take about maybe five minutes. But I'm going to take you around the side first before we get into that. So back here, even though this camp, uh, camper is not provided with an outside kitchen, Flagstaff is going to provide you with a nice prep table that is located right here. And then next to it, it will come with a grill holder that they will provide you with an outside griddle that will plug in right into your LP line to run off the 225 propane tanks up front. And then um, Flagstaff also has frameless and tinted windows. This is going to keep your camper a lot cooler uh, during the summer, even with it being a, uh, a hybrid and a tent camper. Um, it's still going to keep it a lot cooler because they are tinted and then all your seal work is going to be on the inside to help protect it from weathering over time. Uh, the shamrocks are still going to come equipped with the nice uh, step above steps. So they are the stable sturdy steps and you can adjust the legs on them no matter what type of slope you may or may encounter. Um, they still got a nice decent front storage that is uh, held up by magnets so no more latches. It's not going to break on you um, and it doesn't fail as easily. Um, they do have uh, pre-wired for solar, um, so if you did want to do some boondocking, you can buy a portable solar kit and plug it in to help trickle charge your battery. Portable solar panels are sometimes a little bit better just for, um, you could be in a heavily shaded area if you had solar panels on top. When you have portables, you can direct them wherever uh, the sun is coming out. <laughs> and then um, we'll come around front. This one is still going to come equipped with a nice power tongue jack, so no more cranking, easy up and down. It does come with a nice docking light to help load and unload your camper at night. Um, behind it is actually going to come equipped with two 20 pound propane tanks, even though it is a smaller camper, it's only 24 feet, uh, 10 inches long. So it's still going to come equipped with two of those and a nice 12 volt battery. And they are going to give you a big enough box that if you did want to upgrade them to two six volt batteries, you can. Um, and then I am going to demonstrate how easy this hybrid is compared to a pop-up. Like I said, uh, this has three pop-outs and it'll probably only take about five minutes even if you're doing it by yourself. So it's as simple as pulling all these handles down. Then you're just going to pull the whole bed down. So far easier than a pop-up. <laughs> and then we have the venture on the inside. What I always do is push your bed nice and forward. You're going to take your pole. You're going to put it right in the circle. You're going to push the whole bed up. Put it on the bar. And there's your bedroom. It's that simple. Um, and then with the Shamrock hybrids, they're all going to come with heated mattresses because they understand it does take a little bit longer to heat up your camper. So they are going to provide you with heated mattresses. And it does take a little bit longer to cool down. So they're actually going to provide you with these fans. And the fans even have a nice light to them to keep you cooler at night. And you can adjust that as far down as you need it. They're even going to have a, uh, a net to catch all your stuff. You can put your phones, books, wallet, keys, anything like that to keep it outside the bed. Um, and then, like I said, even though it's a 24 foot, 10 inch camper, this camper will actually sleep two people up front. And then these hybrids in the back, these pop outs, you're going to sleep two people on the side, two more people in the back. Um, your U shaped dinette does turn into a bed, as it uh, is shown here. You got two, pull, uh, two more people here, and then even your sofa, it's easier than a jackknife and a little bit more stable, sturdy, because they even give you a leg for it. You can either have one or two more people right here. So you're talking about eight to nine people in a 24 foot, 10 inch camper. And this camper doesn't even weigh that much. It's only a little bit over 5,000 pounds. Um, and you get a lot of amenities. I'm talking a bigger oven than normal. You can even fit more than just a pizza in there. That's always a plus. You know, a lot of people don't do a lot of cooking on the inside, but it still rains sometimes. <laughs> so sometimes you're stuck inside and you have to do all your cooking on the inside. So you're still going to get a bigger oven than normal and a three burner cast iron stove. 
Um, Flagstaff is also going to provide you with the TV over here uh, with an AM, FM, CD, DVD player, uh, Bluetooth, HDMI, USB, and auxiliary compatible radio for inside and outside of the camper. Um, they even still put a slide in here and that's what makes it feel like it's so open in here as well. Um, so that's just a quick run through of how easy a hybrid is to set up. If you guys have any questions here, feel free to call us at 330-564-0222. My name again is Alex and happy camping.